all right guys for kage kirum welcome back to the brand new video here we are again on black clover mobile and on today's video we're gonna talk about the preparation for the season two okay most press more precisely the pre preparation for noel in my eyes one of the biggest mistakes that you can do is not prepare for noel i'm not talking about black black crystals i'm not not talking i'm not talking about the duplicate shards i'm talking about you need to grind those materials now so when noel drops you can instantly max her out again i don't by maxing out i don't mean dupe her out okay or summon until she's completely maxed out i'm more talking about the level okay make sure to save enough of material like this one so when noel drops that you can literally get her to the level 80 as soon as possible and also the second gr uh, biggest thing that you should stay safe is the bond level okay what i mean about bond level that you save this materials for her yeah for now i have only this but if i go into the inventory right here you will see that I already saved like eight of those uh, bond gift selection box, okay? Where I can generally use, like she will be a rat attacker if I'm not mistaken. So I will use the gift box attacker. So definitely I will grind much more of this material. So when Noel drops, I can instantly get her to the LR and instantly get her to the level 80. Most likely I will go to level 100 why i'm talking about all of this because i hate myself in pvp i'm doing terrible because i refuse to play it anymore in the it's fine i'm challenger 2 i can go to challenger 1 but i'm not in top 500 so it's not the biggest deal but i made so many mistakes by playing pvp now i play it as well but not that oftenly since i'm just waiting now for the other season um because i've done a few mistakes right here i already made a video about that but definitely this is not the result i want to have when noel drops guys when noel drops there'll be a shift in meta in pvp when all noel drops there'll be a new season season two so all of this will be resetted you will drop like i believe uh from challenger 2 for example in my in my in my situation i would drop most likely from challenger 2 to i don't know or challenger 3 4 and then the season 2 will start not not sure precisely how that will work but but i know for a fact that for season 2 i don't i want to be in top 500 this is a must for me so i get a lot more gems because now i even i, I just scratch the surface of how how many gems i can get from pvp okay so for me getting instant max noel related to her levels related to her bond level so you get her to the lr as soon as possible because trust me she will be a menace without julius in pvp she will be a menace and everyone will be using her okay guys so it is crucial in my eyes and you could make one of the biggest mistakes if you are not prepared for her release because then you won't be able to progress in pvp therefore you're gonna lose a lot of gems and a lot of good prizes and especially you could lose the top 500 where you can get crazy amount of prices so i'm heavily disappointed in myself for the season one pvp but it's fine it happens i made few mistakes i played on auto i played this you already know the drill i was experimenting a lot of stuff and it didn't work this time i'm not experimenting this time i'm not playing on auto this time i'm going full on focus to be top 500 on the season two so i can make some somewhat of a comeback comeback in that way and definitely mainly i will maximize the amount of gems if i do the pvp correctly okay now you're probably asking yourself okay rokage how many of this bond gift box we need to have so we max out noel um i believe roughly I, I will talk about roughly right now i did already the calculations now i don't have like a neutral gift box so i cannot remember but we can uh if i go for example who is not um, yeah for example him 
Raiden. If I go into the bond, I believe roughly, guys. Yeah, here it is. So this one gives uh, 5,380. Okay. And this one gives 8,000. Okay. So if you get like a rat for um, Noel, you get 8,000. And roughly to reach bond level 10, I believe you need to have 100k. So let me calculate this really quickly. Yeah, you need uh, 12 and a half of specific gift boxes to maximize the bond level. And then for this regular one, uh, you need one second. OMG. Give me one moment. Yeah, 18 and a half. So you need 18 and a half of those. And what we said for this one, you need 12 and a half, right? Yes. So this will be the amount that I definitely recommend that you get. So you get Noel instantly to LR. This is a big deal. And then make sure to grind this and save those materials. Grind it. Don't go like too crazy, but grind enough so you can reach level 80 to level 100. That will be perfect because in that yeah i know i still didn't beat this but i can beat it i will do it today i will literally finish this all of this today i was lazy and i was just grinding this too pretty much on auto yeah this one on auto and that's it although i can definitely beat all of this which i will do today in that way i will get even more gems and more experience uh, mages it's not a big deal like i left some of those things that i will grind later on like in city district i still didn't grind plenty of those like here nothing oh here i did a little bit you know i have plenty more things to grind i leave it on pur purposely since i when i don't actually need it so i save more black crystals for future so i don't spend it okay this is something that i regularly do in any type of game so make sure to grind enough of mage exp uh thingies so you can max out noel at least to level 80 instantly get her bond okay so yeah where you get your bond i believe you know that here so for example i bid this two uh, here i will do it today this one so we'll get here i need to do it today and then this one will be super tough i believe this will be for the future but definitely i can get even more uh bond gift boxes and in that way i'll be able to instantly max um bond my noel which is crucial thing and this is the things right now that you should be focused on getting the bond patrol done grinding enough of mage xp now don't go all in with stamina on this one grind it every day we have now from now when i'm recording you have like four days time so you have time to accumulate enough of mage exp just don't waste them now on other characters also with everything else you can prepare the talents for her she's a red character i mean it doesn't matter like but definitely you need to work on i need to work on the talents i still didn't start doing it properly but i'll definitely grind for noel as well the talents but main thing is bond guys and leveling up everything else you can catch up as the time will go and you can easily grind it out but getting her to the lr immediately level 80 that will be crucial and now the other thing that you need to prepare for her is the gear okay i believe mainly you want to focus on m attack related to her Although that, that's not the easiest way, right? <laughs> it's not the easiest. 100%. Okay, getting her all gear sets and everything else for me, that's always a problem because I get extremely unlucky most of the time. Okay, but you will see my gear now still working on it. I would have like 20, 30k more CC if I had proper gear. But it is how it is. I, I'm, I'm, I, yeah, I, lately, every day I get one to LR gear from for a few days now so my gear sets are looking better and better overall still not perfect but i'm working on it okay i'm working on it this is a little bit messed up setup but yeah as you can see i'm working on it i'll definitely get there and this is my goal in four days to create a proper gear set gear set for her grind as much as possible lr gears as well as accessories i need to build them up as well for her so that is like a main thing for me and of course i need to build her mainly for attack m attack you know in that way i will maximize the amount of her damage and she will go nuts so working now on the gear getting those bond gift boxes and um preparing your exp with the talents should be your highest priority 
don't focus now on the other characters if you can grind the content because you should definitely go all in on L so you can go like crazy on PvP and then you're gonna be able to uh, get a lot more uh, freebies and everything else. Okay, guys, hopefully the video was understandable. One more time, I repeat, related to the gear, I definitely recommend that you go like two, three stages. To, uh, two sta I go now two stages on this UR gear part, whatever. And then the last three stages, since we get the increased rates for the LR gear, for example, I go in these stages. And in that way, I definitely get more gears. But I still get so freaking shit. One second. I still get so... I don't know why I've done this. I still get so freaking shafted with Vanessa part. I am going insane, bro. You cannot even... You cannot even comprehend, guys. How much of UR and SSR gear I wasted for SSR and UR gear. Almost never. Almost never. It's like... It says here 30%. I feel it's like 0.5%, 0, 0 bro. I, I am truly pissed about this. Because no matter how many times... No matter how many times I do this, I get freaking UR or SSR gear. I just cannot get LR. I'm telling you, I cannot get LR. If I got luckier with this part, my box will already have, my team would already have 200k. Now I'm still fighting between 170 and 180 really i uh, for me this system is so painful because it's based on luck and it's really killing me but yeah this is all the things that i will be doing also what i forgot to mention save up your stamina okay you should grind those stuff but as well save up those stamina for noel when she drops like save them you will need it like save save you, you don't have to save all the stamina but save it because at the end of the day, especially if you don't have enough of bond gift boxes, you will have to grind her in the in the patrol bond, right? You will go into patrol bond, go here, you will put Noel, and then you're gonna finish uh, the bond. Of course, that's that other thing that I forgot to mention in the beginning, but I believe it is self-explanatory and you already know the drill. That's why saving stamina is also extremely important. Because if you cannot get enough of um, boxes for the bond level, you will need to grind it out. And bond control is the best way. You go in, you go into nightmare part, and then you just use the skip tickets or you play it on auto. And in that way, your nail will increase their bond level like crazy. Okay, guys, that's it. Love you. I hope you did enjoy it. Leave a like, subscribe. I will now continue grinding the game. First, I will grind now EXP. Then I will go to the bond control and then that freaking gears. Gears, 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 gears. OMG. That's it. Love ya. And bye.